what's up y'all? I'm just uh, here at the uh, ponds and swamp and uh, I keep pushing these beaver back. Each pond I hit I get about two beaver, maybe three, and then it pushes them back. They start retreating. But I found their system of dams. We got one here and one right up here. But I, I set a dam set and I don't know if you can see them, but there's a, got a small little beaver right there. Um, so I kicked a hole in the dam and set a trap right there and uh, looks like we got them. Pull them out. Well, as I closer inspect, it is a giant nutria. It's a pretty big one. thought it was a medium sized beaver, but uh, it's like we got ourselves a nutria. All right, just a quick set shot. I remade this set. I just caught that nutria in. But, uh, got the hole in the dam. The beaver will come in and hit his chest here and set his feet down. Um, it's a lot deeper than it looks in the video for some reason. Anyway, another catch shot. It's crazy, that's my first nutria of the year. One more thing I'd like to add is check out this catch, man. I got both of his front feet in there. That's crazy. That's a first for me. Yeah, there's no escaping that. All right, so right up here is that first dam I just showed you with the nutria catch in it. Then we have the second dam about 50 feet away, but I kicked a hole in there and I have a 330 set sideways in there. Um, so if they come to check this out, but I see there's a, a little trail here and also an entryway right here. So I have my four coil bridger there, 330 there, and another bridger down there. So we'll see what happens. I am winning the war. My line's pulled tight. But as you can see in there, that is not a beaver or a nutria. That is a raccoon. Pull them out and have a better look. All right, it's a boar coon I caught in my um, trail set for um, some beaver and nutria. Wow, I was not expecting that. Uh, pretty cool though. Coon down. Love it out here. Biggest damn coon I've ever seen. Oh my god. He's not playing either. Now we begin the rodeo. You're late, dude. Rolling in fashionably late. 